Now, I don't really get the winter blues. There's something very cozy about the winter, whether it's snuggling with your loved ones in front of a fire or cuddling up with your favorite blanket and watching Netflix, or in my case, eating a pizza on a street corner here in Perth and Boy. Scortino's a unique pizza, but does that make it good? Let's go find out and let's go eat. All right, guys, what do we have here? We got ourselves a large pie that looks like a 14 inch or so. Their large pies are kind of small, really small. Look at that, the cheese melting over the edge of the crust there. It's a pretty unique looking pizza, guys. I've never seen anything like it. All right, guys, no better way to warm up on a cold winter day than eating a whole pie of pizza out on the street. Perth Amboy, folks, Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Known for its, uh, one of the first American shipping towns. Also, it was the city where the first black man voted. So it's one of those places that's rooted in history and uh, a lot of stuff went down here. Guys, I can't get, to, I can't seem to get a slice. I don't think they did a good job cutting it. It's like, there we go, I got one. Pretty neat on the separation, folks, check that out. No Ninja Turtle stretch, nothing trailing the the, uh, the slice as I separate it. I'm gonna give it a little bend. I like that. I like the way it's feeling on the bend. It's kind of pliable, it's not cracking. It's crackling, not cracking. A little flop. A little flop going on. There's a dog in the yard, I don't think he likes me. I'm gonna move on over over here. That dog was a little pissed off that I was eating pizza in front of his house. <laughs> All right, uh, I like the color on that bottom, guys. Look at that beautiful color on that thing. Is that nice or what? I didn't order this well done nothing. Seems like a football field across the street there, soccer field. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we move on in to the lab and get a closer look at Scortinos, Scortinos. I can't begin to tell you how many people told me to come over here and taste this pizza. It's one of those old school Jersey joints, not presently at its original location anymore. Uh, they since have moved, but it's still, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's still owned by the same folks, supposedly. And uh, supposedly the pizza's kind of similar and uh, made the way it used to be, although it used to be a brick oven place and they still market themselves as brick oven. However, the oven is gas fired. Even though it's a brick oven, it used to be wood. Now I believe it used to be wood, so I was told, and now it's gas. So I'm sure the product has changed. For you old school Jersey folks who grew up on this stuff, uh, you may, find that the product has changed i'm not sure uh this is the first time i'm having it and uh i want to talk about this thing man i'm itching to talk about it it's a special pizza it's its own unique uh it's got its own character i've never seen anything like it kind of i never really seen anything like it i mean it only cost about 12 and a half bucks but it's a small pie it's about freaking 14 inches it's tiny look at these little slices i love the color guys look at that beautiful char Look at that, well done pizza. You know how much I love that. Well done pizza. A little smokiness permeated that, uh, what was a kind of, uh, you know, medium density crust. Uh, it wasn't the lightest pizza in the world, it's very thin, but uh, it did have some pliability. Not exactly a bar pie. And uh, there, there was a slight airy center, but for the most part, guys, it, it was rather chewy. Uh, the chew on this thing was on the moderate side. On the moderate to significant side. So, uh, not the lightest pizza in the world. I think the worst thing about it, I'm going to start with the negatives here, guys. The worst thing about this pizza was the sauce. It was too sweet. It was too sweet, very silky, no tomato pulp present. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, uh, it, it kind of, there were some spots 
on the pizza where it kind of was dry a bit. The cheese to sauce ratio is pretty decent. Maybe favoring the cheese a little bit. But uh, besides that, guys, it, it was the taste of that sauce. The sauce did not give me the feels, guys. It, it did not give me the feels that I usually get when I taste a good tomato sauce. Uh, too sweet. A little on the sweet side. Not mildly sweet. Um, uh, moderately sweet for sure. And uh, uh, sugary sweet. And, and, and you know, I... A lot of people like that. It was a very robust tasting sauce. People go for that stuff. Me, I want a savory tomato. I want a nice, rustic, runny, chunky, fresh tomato sauce. This, uh, the texture of this sauce was a bit on the pastier side. Guys, check this out. We got a little herbs going. We got some herb action going, man. We got some herb action, some basil. One little piece, one little sprig, like half a sprig of basil. It makes me wonder if they, uh, if that basil is included in the sauce when they simmer it. Well, the best thing about the pizza was the cheese, guys. Pretty good, low moisture mozzarella. Little, some grease spots here and there, but nothing really dripped. My hands never, ever had to go to a napkin. Never reach for a napkin after eating that slice. Pretty good. Some grease spots on the cardboard, but for the most part, we got ourselves here a pretty decent low moisture mozzarella. And guys, you know how much I love grated parmigiano on a pizza or uh, grana not sure what type of hard cheese they're sprinkling on this thing but there's a generous dusting of it the grated cheese was a nice touch i didn't get that fragrant funk that i usually get from grated cheese but it's nice that it was there all right ladies and gents it's about that time the pizza gets cold we give it another fold very small slices guys very tiny slices but we're gonna test for more than flop here. We're gonna test for integrity. Pizza seems to still be snapping. That exterior crunch is still there, guys. And that's gonna give us some points. And it's not flopping like it was when it was hot. Uh, when it was hot, there was a minimal flop in the tip, a little flaccid tip, but there was a really nice crunch to the exterior of this crust uh, it, uh unfortunately the the air pockets were really really tiny which led to a moderate to significant chew very chewy pizza sauce not my thing and uh i'm going with the high six six nine guys like one of those pizzas that uh i i wouldn't consider it a go-to i would order other stuff than this uh, but but it's close, and, and you know that Parmesan cheese, guys. That Parmigiano uh, is what uh, made this thing uh, for me. Knocking on Seven's door, knocking on Seven's door, knock knock knocking on Seven's door. That's what this pizza did, and uh, good tang from the cheese. But you know those issues, guys. You got to take them into consideration. But. Uh, and you know, when you look at a pizza like this that's so beautifully colored, you gotta take more things into consideration, guys. You know, what matters in a crust is not the color, but for me, personally, the lightness, it's gotta be light, and when it's chewy like this. According to many, this pizza was a lot better in the past. I'm not sure what has changed. Perhaps the ingredients, I'm not sure, but this pie did have potential. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Guys, if you can, smash that like, hit that subscribe button, and if you wanna watch me, cook food at home including pizza feel free to hit that join button for just 4.99 a month you become an elite pizza holic and have access to various perks including members only videos where i cook at home including baked pizza guys well guys that about does it for me i'm gonna go take a walk and maybe hit up the historic center here in perth and boy they got a lot of beautiful old buildings here and the old city hall and stuff so i'm gonna go take a look and until next time, keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio signing off.